Hey guys, welcome out to beautiful Fairburn, Georgia, right on the Tattahoochee Hills line. As you can see, beautiful homes going up. Let me see if I can zoom out there so you can see. House over here too. Um, you have probably seen me do some videos out here. We have uh, at least four clients. Uh, fifth one may be going under contract um, very soon. Last four basement lots. So it's an amazing, amazing community. Uh, you know, I've been over here obviously meeting with the builders and onsite agents. Everybody's wonderful. Starting to get to know the neighbors because they see me out here all the time with my clients, you know, checking on progress and all that good stuff. So it is uh, right on the Chattahoochee Hills line. So if you've heard of like Serenby, if you're familiar with the Noonan, Fayette, South Fulton, Douglas um, area, this is where it's going to put you. So I want to take you on a tour of this is their Millwood floor plan. Uh, our client Kathleen is building it from New York. This is not her home. Hers is around the corner. It's in the framing stage. But because this is probably one of the floor plans on the last floor where you can build, I wanted to take you through it because it's just it's an amazing, amazing floor plan. Very similar to, um, you know, what we built for our house. So it has a lot of the same features and I think you'll really, really like it. Um, so it's uh, obviously under construction, but you'll be able to get a really good idea. So you get a covered front porch on these. Again, it will be a basement lot because that's the last four that they have. As you can tell, the houses are just beautiful, semi-custom. You're not on top of each other. Uh, very family oriented. So let's take a look. All right. So when you first walk in, this is again the Millwood floor plan. You have this big, dramatic two story foyer area. You can see the um, banister going in, see this nice boxed one, they'll stain it. You could do exactly however you want to do it. You know, this particular buyer, they're doing carpet. It depends on your budget, right? If you do not want to overextend yourself, if you want down the road to add more hardwoods and stuff like that, do it. But if your budget is, hey, am I cut off as a certain point, then you're just going to have to, you know, do that. But if you have the money and you want to do it at the upgrade uh, design center, definitely do that. You can see, though, it's very dramatic. You're going to have that catwalk upstairs, which we'll see in a second. Over here on the right is just a really, really nice size room. Um, again, this particular buyer did uh, carpet where you see this um, uh, covering is where like the hardwood or the uh, rev wood would be. But I'm not sure if the camera does it justice, but this is a really, really large size um, room. I love the three boxed windows in the front, that little indentation. You know, you've seen my videos, you know how I feel about symmetry, asymmetrical and symmetry. And I love that it gives you both LED light there in the middle. Over here on the left, when you walk in the door, you have your coffered ceiling dining room. Again, beautiful trim work going in here, chair rail, they call it. You go to the design center, you're gonna be able to pick out your lighting, color schemes, uh, flooring, paint colors, all that kind of stuff. So really nice um, dining room. Now, this is probably what you've seen in our house, and I'm so glad Kathleen's getting it. And I think it's just a really big wow factor, the two-story family room, the curved out windows. Look at the backdrops that you're getting. You know, people pay big time money for, I mean, this, this wall, you see the trees in the background, it's like artwork right through your windows. It's just an amazing, amazing, um, you know, area over here you can see up the uh fireplace is the ship lap i think kathleen did that too if you're watching this kathleen correct me if i'm wrong but you got the stack stone i'll walk it around here so you kind of see the areas on both sides if you eventually want to do some build outs again this beautiful wall of windows and then your big catwalk up around the corner I mean, up at the top. Over here is the kitchen. And as you can see, it's a really, really nice size. I'm starting to get the lighting in here. So you can kind of get an idea. These are gray cabinets that this particular builder chose, the overextended long um, subway tile. But you could choose, you know, granite, quartz. That's what the, you know, 
will be the deciding factor on what your price point will be. Uh, it's $2,500 to secure one of the lots, and then you go to a design center, and you'll be putting 50% down on any of the upgrades that you guys do. But that's not money thrown away. That's just added um, money towards your down payment and closing costs. It's all going to be credited back. At this price point, you're probably looking three, five, or if you're a VA, like a veteran, zero uh, percent. So pretty amazing. Mid 400s to probably low 500s for the remaining lots, I would say, um, after your upgrades. You can see double ovens come standard. This one has electric. You could do electric or propane uh, for gas. You've got the uh, microwave, the sink, dishwasher, and this is where your refrigerator area will be. This is where your pantry is. The great thing about this builder is you can change like structural changes as well. Kathleen is doing a bigger um, pantry and moved her washroom upstairs, which is really cool. Oh, look how muddy it is. I can't step out over there, but you can see, just kind of see the lot sizes are just amazing. You can see the uh, the big curved windows. Again, yours is going to be on a basement. So where I'm stepping out would be a wood uh, deck. If you want to do an extended deck, if you want to, you know, um, do this, <laughs> which is really cool. Um, this builder, I mean, this buyer um, added in a covered back porch with a wood burning fireplace. Gorgeous. You can see all the plants that are ready to be put in the pine straw. Um, so really, really, really nice. Ooh, so cold out today. Just look at that. Yeah. That's one feature that we just love, you know, about our house um, as well. So here's your, if you keep the pantry, how it is, this is where your downstairs, um, washer and dryer room, laundry room would be really nice size window in it closet when you come in here is your two-car side entry garage and depending on the lot you might be able to add that third car garage because a lot of these lots are you know um, an acre or more um, you could sometimes you could even do a carriage house um, separate carriage house downstairs bathroom full bath love 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 a transom window see the flooring go down Looks like a Revolid to me. Um, cultured marble, gray countertops. Here's bedroom number one on the first level. Really nice size. You could definitely fit a king size or queen size bed. Again, looking out the back window. Double door closet. Um, hall, another kind of coat closet. Definitely doesn't lack for space. So what you see, guys, is already huge, right? But these lots are going to be on a basement. So you're going to be able to get in. Uh, basically, what they do is they stub it for uh, um, plumbing. They put electric in it. And then, you know, you're going to decide how you want to finish it off, you know, down the road. You know, we have great contractors for you um, as well. So if you want to make a movie theater room, stuff like that. Here at the top is bedroom number two. Nice double window here. You know, a perfect area to put a bed. TV right across from it. Again, looking out the window. Just look at how much space, right? So all be sodded. This bedroom has a its own bathroom. So you have the cultured marble again. Cabinet, sink, toilet. And then this one has... I don't think they have electricity in here, but this is where your closet for this bedroom is. Wow, it's really cold. All right, I'm gonna finish off with the master bedroom, but here again, just look at this, right? Look at this view. So beautiful. And look at this view, right? From the top, your entranceway. Just, you know, welcoming guests when they come in, family, friends coming over. Just a great place, you know, to make announcements. 
from and just feel luxurious that it is. Bedroom number three, are we on? Yep, bedroom number three. This is a really, really nice size room. Again, king, queen. I love, again, the dimension, that little cutout here is wonderful. These are the kind of views you're gonna have. I think pretty much every lot in here is backed up to the woods. Builder has been amazing. Um, On-site agents have been great, responsive, so. Bedroom number four, again, I mean, seriously, king or queen. I haven't been in many floor plans where you could definitely fit, you know, a lot of floor plans, you know, um, even in the richest of areas, their secondary bedrooms have always been a little tight. I mean, I've never seen bedrooms where you could absolutely, if you wanted to, put a king-size bed in each bedroom and still have room to do a nightstand or two. And again, if you wanted to add hardwoods up here, you can. Again, it's just a matter of your budget. Do you, If your budget is four eighty-five, dollars say, you know, you may want to do upgrades in other areas. If you have the money and you, you know, you want to, you're pre-approved to 550 or something like that. And sure, kill it with the upgrades if you want. I love this little area. Great little area for statue, console table, mirror. It's like a little hallway before you get to your bedroom. And then here is the master. And it's beautiful. Let's see if there's lights in here. Um, get the ceiling fan. The tray ceilings, which is the indentation up. I step back, and then you have a sitting area as well. So you could lay it out however you want. You know, per, you know, between here would be great. Between um, on this wall, flat screen TV, dresser. See the little cutouts too. That's what gives the room dimension, that extra little space to fit in a beautiful dresser. Little indentations on this wall and a great sitting area. So, again, down the line, if you ever wanted to add a fireplace in here or something like that on a wall like this, you definitely can. Um, this is the one with the had the covered porch above it and the tree line areas. And then your master bath is just gorgeous too. This is all kind of tile, I believe, hardwood tile. This is where. Uh, this is probably going to be a standalone soaking tub, I would think, in here. See, there's a light. Yeah. So this would probably be like one of those standalone tubs, most likely. See this beautiful, this looks like hardwoods, but it's actual tile, frosted glass window, and then look at this beautiful shower that's going in. And again, when you go to the design center, trust me, you could ask D, Kathleen, Tamika, Olivia, all the ladies and the gents um, that have built in here. And it's a pretty, pretty fun experience to be able to pick everything out. But it's going to be a great shower, probably either uh, glass or frameless glass, um, double vanity sinks, mirrors, lights. And then you got the beautiful, let me open this, walk-in closet. So... They're going to give you the regular wire racks, but you could do the build outs afterwards if you want. Give these a little accent. Oops. Let's see if it's open. Access doors. So little areas for storage and stuff like that if you want. Um, but yeah, really nice size. Going to give you basically a whole room with a window. Um, and then you just do your custom build outs afterwards. So this is, again, the Millwood plan, guys. Last four. Oh, I'll show you the toilet. Toilet room and closet for your linens and towels. So, guys, this is the Millwood, one of the floor plans. There's various ones to choose from. Probably, like I said, eight, nine, ten month time frame at this point to build. So, as soon as you see this video, you're going to love it. It's peaceful. It's quiet. You're going to see deer, but yet you'll still have great proximity to get into the city and do a lot of area shopping. Come and discover this part of town. It's a real steal to me. Um, again, trying to give you access to communities and places that not every other agent is. And we can't wait to welcome you to the Great Homes ATL family. All right. Make it a wonderful day.